Now let us talk about the water pollution. We discussed how important the water is and what is the prominence of water in our life. Now see the pollution of water. When any unwanted substance is being added to a natural material like a water or air, when it disturbs the natural composition of that particular medium, you call it as a pollution. So what are the unwanted things that are coming and joining with this water? What are the sources? We can categorize the sources into three. One, chemical, biological, physical. These are the three points at which are disturbing the natural setup of the water. Chemical, index, agricultural and industrial. The agriculture, green revolution, farmers started using artificial pesticides, insecticides, fertilizers to increase the crop production. Productivity is very important. It is a social aspect, social issue. Population is growing up, more food is required. So with the intention of growing more crops, indiscriminate usage of fertilizers, that is chemical fertilizers, and at the same time usage of pesticides and insecticides, that is in the idea of getting a good production, which leads to a pollution of water. When farmers indiscriminately use the chemical fertilizers, pesticide and insecticides, when there is a rainfall, the water that is flowing through the soil, it collects the pesticide, insecticide and fertilizers into other water bodies like rivers. So in this way, the river water is polluted. Many areas, the insecticide, pesticide and fertilizer which is sprinkled in the fields get seeped down into the ground's water level, groundwater table. So by that the groundwater getting polluted with pesticide and insecticides. So that was the reason found some five to six years back, people found pesticides in soft drinks because those soft drinks were made by drawing the water from the ground. So those softening factories were established in the agricultural lands. So earlier those lands were used for agriculture, there a lot of uh, pesticide and insecticides were applied and those pesticides and insecticides they seeped down into the groundwater, the groundwater was polluted and they used the groundwater to make the soft drink. So by that the pesticides reached the soft drinks. So in this way the contaminant, the pollution, chemical pollution of groundwater or other water bodies takes place by agriculture. So pesticides and fertilizers or examples. Now industrial, industries are very important because we need so many products and goods for our daily comforts, daily needs. All these products are made in a factory. So in a factory for processing, for cleaning, for many purposes water is used and the water is left into the close by water bodies. Many chemicals are produced in the factories as a waste. These chemicals without detoxification, many factories are leaving them into water bodies. When a factory is preparing a substance, any medicine or any other chemical or any product, the waste that comes out, they should check the toxicity of the waste. If the government says that whatever your end products are coming, waste products, they are very dangerous, then the factory, it must bear the responsibility of detoxifying the material before disposal. Means they should set up some process by which this harmful material is converted to non-harmful material, then it should be left into the water bodies or whatsoever. But that is in terms to save their money, in terms to get good profits, the factories they deny, they ignore the condition of detoxifying the waste produced in the factory, simply they let these wastes into the close by water bodies, those are the rivers and other water bodies. So they are polluting all the water bodies, it is the industrial source. So here the case is with chemicals, biological, biological domestic waste. From houses, we produce lot of water, sewage, which you call it as sewage. The waste water that comes out from the houses, that is from the toilets, bathrooms, the bathed water, cleaned water, cooked water, all these waters, they contain lot of organic matter. This organic matter they decomposes and lot of bacteria grow in the water. They spread diseases like cholera, typhoid, jaundice, this kind of diseases, waterborne diseases are caused by this sewage. Not only that, this sewage or organic matter, whatever is there in the water, 
so this it consumes the oxygen present in the water there is a lot of organic matter there are bacteria so these bacteria they use up the oxygen in the water when the oxygen levels are decreased in the water other organisms they get deprived of oxygen and they will die there is a lot of bacteria and organic matter in the water oxygen is consumed there the other fish and other organisms living in the water cannot get proper oxygen and they die so the biological oxygen demand is increased and chemicals also the use of the oxygen that is called as chemical oxygen demand biological oxygen demand cod and bod if they are more the chemicals which are mixed with water using more oxygen other organisms will die deprived of oxygen because in air oxygen is stable 21% you can get oxygen but in water the level of oxygen is varied from water source to water source it depends upon the quality if the water is of good quality good amount of oxygen will be there if the water is of bad quality with more pollutants the oxygen level is less so oxygen is a very big problem for the terrestrial for the aquatic organisms so when the water is polluted by these chemicals and biological waste whatever the oxygen is present in the water is used up by this organic matter it is used up by the chemicals so whatsoever the little oxygen is present used up by these things there is no oxygen for the other organisms like fish and all to breathe so they die so that happens so that kind of uh, problems are created by this sources like uh, agricultural sources like pesticides fertilizers industrial chemicals effluents and organic matter so what kind of physical damage physical aspects that cause damage to the quality of water and uh, damage cause damage to the life based in the water temperature so if you see at a place this is a dam here the water reservoir the water is stored here the water will be left like this so the water is stored at a great height the temperature of water is different here and different here so here it is cold it is hot because it is exposed to sun suddenly they release the water so what happens here the heat is high here it is cold the organisms they will set up they will lay eggs they will give birth to the young ones at particular temperatures certain organisms grow well in specific temperatures so when suddenly the water is released the temperatures get altered so quickly that immediate change in the temperature leads to death of so many fish and other organisms the immediate change in the temperature may increase the growth of unwanted microorganisms which cause diseases so that is the physical factor temperature the sudden change in the temperature of water bodies by human activities it leads to such kind of problem the temperature change is caused at one place that is uh, reservoirs or dams at this place second one thermal power stations thermal power stations thermal power station means it is a power station which produce electricity by burning coal so in the thermal power station water is required to cool the towers because they get heated up for cooling they use water they will draw the water from a river the cold water they will draw and they use the water for cooling means the water becomes heated when the water is poured on a hot tank the water becomes hot so this hot water is allowed to flow into the river back in this way they circulate it so whenever the hot water enters the river with cold water the temperature change will make the fish and other organisms to death their eggs cannot be made into young ones so by that the population gets decreased so this is the way how the human activities like pollution and uh, physical activities damage the life and disturb and uh, reduce the quality of water if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus